Next to me today is a 2023 Ford Escape, and it's all new and redesigned for the 2023 model year. This one is the ST Line Elite version, and today I'm going to be reviewing it. Now, starting up front on the new Ford Escape, you will see that it is fully redesigned compared to the 2022 model year. It definitely looks a lot sharper, especially with the headlights. They've done in the headlights look a lot sharper and a lot cooler. And front, you do have light bar that stretches across the front of the car of course the black grille i think overall the front end of the vehicle has been made to look so much better than it used to before it kind of looked bloated now moving on to the side of the new escape there are some things to talk about over here starting with the 19 inch optional rims that you can get on the st line elite they're polished black the standard ones are more of a machined steel look but these are the polished black ones and they do look nice and good with the cinnabar color you also of course have your st line badges but for the most part on the side of the new escape it looks the same if you were to look at it from the side profile uh, with the st line elite and all the other st line versions of this car you do have black window trim if you get a lower end you're going to get chrome window trim instead so that's something to keep in mind but yes looks basically the same on the side of the Escape from 2023 as it did from 2022. And now moving on to the back of the 2023 Escape, not much has changed from the previous version of this car other than that they have changed the taillights a little bit on the bottom. You do have the red LED and you didn't used to have that before. This one also does have the Class 2 trailer tow package and you can tell because it does have the tow hitch down here. All right, now for the rear cargo space in the 2023 Ford Escape, you get 37 and a half cubic feet of space with these seats up you also have storage under the floor right here that's where your spare tire is going to be kept and you do have some tie down points and a 12 volt socket in the back that you could be using as well but yeah good amount of space for the ford escape as usual all right now on the interior of the 2023 escape the first thing you're going to notice especially on the higher trim levels is going to be the 13.2 inch center screen as your centerpiece if you do get lower end trim levels of the escape it's going to be the same as it used to be which runs sync 3 but this one does run sync 4 which means you get tons of the new features that ford has offered with this new operating system you also have this roughly 12 inch digital gauge cluster which looks nice high quality has great graphics if you do get the premium technology package you will get things like the 10 speaker bang and olufsen system and the heads up display as well now as for storage and materials in this car Everything you're going to be touching is nice and soft. The seats are good and comfortable. Use this uh, red stitching as well, which makes it look more sporty. The steering wheel is nice and high quality feeling. As for safety in here, this does have lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control. Oh, and storage, the center console hasn't always been the biggest on the escapes and doesn't look like they've changed much, but you do get wireless charging, connectivity, 12 volt socket, USB type C and a USB type a. Now for the ST line elite, at least in this one, you do have this fake carbon fiber inlay on the dashboard right here. I guess it kind of looks cool, but it is definitely fake and it's on multiple surfaces on the door to some things about the interior of this car. I feel like Ford is overdone and it's actually hurt the car's appearance more than it's helped it. Now the back seats of the Escape have always been a nice place to be nice and comfortable. The seats are a decent size. You might have a bit of trouble storing three people back here. But you do get some nice creature comforts, including connectivity. You have a USB type A and a type C port back here. Your rear passengers won't be hot because this one has rear vents. Nice knee room. And of course, you have the center armrest right here with two cup holders. Now, if you look above you, there is going to be a panoramic sunroof. That is an option that you can get on the Escape from 2023 is that panoramic sunroof. Another thing I love about the Escape's rear seats is actually how much you can move the rear seats of the escape you do have tilt for the backrest and then you have you can move up and down the seats pretty far back with the bar under it so yeah escape as always has been a nice place to be i have probably like five inches of leg room and a good amount of headroom as well so all right now as for the engine in the Ford Escape. This one has the two liter EcoBoost mix, 250 horsepower and 280 pound feet of torque. Now, since this does have the class two towing package, this does have the max capacity of towing that any Escape can have, which is about 3,500 pounds, which is pretty impressive. 
good for a car of this size. It means it's still versatile and can do a lot of things, even though you're not spending explore or expedition money. But yes, this does get great gas mileage as well. The other engine option you can get is a hybrid version, which does not tow nearly as much and does not make nearly as much power. But this engine right here and this powertrain, I would definitely get if I were to get one. All right, driving the 23 Ford Escape, and I'll be honest with you, not much has changed in the way of the powertrains. The Escape isn't a slow crossover as long as you get the engine that this has which is that two liter eco boost and the transmission is generally fast enough for most people's needs the car does have pep i mean that 250 horsepower doesn't go to nothing and if you kind of put your foot into it it definitely has the ability to get around traffic it's not a sports car but you're definitely not going to be stuck behind like you would in something like an eco sport it's still got plenty of capabilities but as for the practical everyday crossover family car this is pretty good and i like i said with all the features that it has definitely would be on my list if i were in the market for this kind of car now when it comes to price this one particularly is a little expensive Forty-four thousand dollars is the price tag on this you don't have to spend 44 to get all of the cool technology stuff but for this one in particular is 44. And if I were to be honest with you, I don't think this is worth anywhere in the 40s range. Um, maybe in the mid 30s, that's fair because it does have a lot in it. But mid 40s is kind of pushing like Ford Explorer territory. And that is the 2023 Ford Escape, all new for 2023. And I love the changes, especially the styling changes Ford has done on the outside of the vehicle. Yes, it kind of looks like other vehicles out there, especially some Kias and Hondas, maybe have some of the same styling cues, but that doesn't mean it doesn't look good. And if you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you wanna see more from us, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.